Now, in another move that's sure to enrage Japan's neighbours, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has sent a traditional offering to a very controversial war shrine. But that also means Abe is not likely to personally visit the Yasukuni shrine as he tries to set up face-to-face -face meetings with his Korean and Chinese counterparts next month. Our Huang Sang-hee reports. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe sent a ritual offering to the Yasukuni Shrine in Tokyo on Friday, while dozens of lawmakers paid their respects, marking the start of an annual autumn festival that runs through Monday. The Yasukuni Shrine honors 14 Class A war criminals along with millions of war dead. Visits there by Japanese leaders in the past have angered Korea and China, former victims of Tokyo's past militarism. I am aware of the fact that the Prime Minister has donated a ritual offering, but this is an act of an individual and not something I think the government should comment on. Abe, who outraged Seoul and Beijing with a visit to Yasukuni last December, has refrained from making another pilgrimage in consideration of mending ties with neighboring countries. Despite having traveled to over 50 countries since taking office, Abe has not held summit talks with the leaders of Korea or China. He has been trying to set up talks with his Korean and Chinese counterparts at the APEC summit in Beijing next month. Expressing regret over Friday's offering, Seoul's foreign ministry reiterated that Japan must acknowledge its wartime atrocities. But even if Abe stays away from the controversial site, eyes will be trained on his cabinet. Japanese Internal Affairs Minister Sanae Takaichi suggested this week that she will visit the shrine at some point during the four-day festival. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.